Hi there, it's Mark. I'm with I'm the founder of Tough Tread, and uh, I started the company back in 1997. And you and we have some of the things that cover some of the features. But basically, we started the company with one very simple idea. We thought that you could start a you could have a treadmill that would basically last as long as a weight machine, as long as a barbell, as long as a dumbbell. Everybody has kind of thought of treadmills as disposable things, necessary evils. They're always going to break down. They're always going to eat up your budget with money. And what we did is we said, somebody needs to build it and look at every individual component and say, how can we make it last the longest? How can we make it more durable? How do we make it maintenance free? How do we get the, get the kind of life that somebody would expect when they pay as much money as they do for a commercial treadmill? And yet they don't hold up the way they should. Well, that's what we did. We looked at every individual component to see how, what kind of life we can get. You'd be surprised how many of your service calls with these soft touch buttons and these touch screen type buttons, how many of your service calls are just in the buttons alone. I mean, we even looked at that. We use this little plastic button. It's not a little inexpensive thing. It comes from auto engineering. It's a US made company, or it's a US company and it's a US made product. It's military spec. It's designed to go into the helicopters. It's approved for all, all aspects of the military. So with that mill spec, this little switch is guaranteed to last 2 million cycles. They have an expected life of longer than that, but that's how long they guarantee it to work in place. I mean, it's an expensive little switch, and nobody really realized it because it just looks like a little soft plastic dome. Well, this is one of the reasons our machines aren't going to fail on you because somebody is going to poke through with it with a fingernail, or they're not going to stab onto the thing, or hit it with a pen and damage it. Little things like our rollers. One of the reasons we can offer you guys such a long warranty and know we can cover it eight, nine, ten years out is the way we built our rollers. Our rollers were designed, they're the heaviest rollers, they're heavy steel, and what they were doing is designed to maximize the life. They have one of the largest shafts running through the middle. This isn't phony. It's not a big roller with a plastic plug in the end and then a little bearing. This is an extremely large bearing that's designed inside here. And this pulley that, you're, that goes up to your motor, this is solid steel. Everybody else, this is molded plastic and pressed on the end. This is put on the tube, welded in place, then machined into one piece, and then balanced. This thing is never going to get out of whack. It's never going to get bent. It's not going to wear out. This thing will be there forever. So when you go to replace belts, you have a roller that's as good as new. We really over-designed this. We've been in business now over 15 years, and I would guess that last year we probably sold a total of three, maybe four rollers. That's it because they just wear the way they do. Everybody considers rollers a throwaway piece. We consider it a permanent part of the treadmill. You just won't be getting rid of these. Same thing with our beds and belts. Our deck is designed to be completely maintenance free. Not, now some companies out there, they will take a particle board deck, they put a piece of phenolic on it, which is a kind of plastic, and what they, when they put that phenolic on it, they then lubricate the belt with a ton of silicone and put silicone all over that deck you're having to clean out underneath it. It's part of the maintenance is that you're supposed to wipe down underneath, get all the dirt out. Then you're supposed to re-silicone it or re-wax it. Some companies have automatic systems to keep dumping wax on that and keep it in there. But remember, you're introducing a lubricant that's on the rollers. Now your tension has to be tighter on the rollers, and they don't last as long. Ours, we developed, it's an incredibly high-grade plywood. It's not particle board. Ask your people on any other treadmill out there, and they're going to call it MDF, which is just high-grade plywood. Ask them or a high grade uh, particle board is what most people will say with MDF and this little tiny sheet that they mold onto the top. It's a lot like the shelving you can buy at Home Depot. Very similar in design to that. In ours, there's a lot of money spent on it and you don't even see it. But why do we do it? Because it's going to hold up. You're going to get a huge amount of life out of this thing. These belts run and run and run and you never have to clean them, you never have to lubricate them, and the less people are in there messing with it, the longer everything lasts because it stays in its settings. Little things like we went over on a separate video, the force multiplier, but the air cooling system that we do, we're the only treadmill company out there that is self-cleaning under the hood. Everybody else wants you to take the hood off, vacuum out inside it, and it's part of your maintenance. That's all the kind of stuff that we think about when we did and why we go by the name Tough Tread. They really are meant to be tough, like a weight machine. But, for the case in your settings, we can also make them pretty. This is our basic black, black with the truck bed liner material. These are going to an offshore rig. We're very popular with Shell Oil, BP Oil, and Northwest uh, Development that do um, so all their offshore platforms all around Africa, all, all out in the Gulf, all have our machines. And so we coat them with the truck bed material. 
With yours, we will do exactly the powder coat color that matches all of the other equipment. Because we actually build them, we actually make them here, we don't import the parts from China, we can do that at the last minute. So we make white ones for MicroFit Fitness, we make the, we could make the gray and silver ones for you, we can turn right around in the next batch and coat them with truck bed liner material for the oil field. That's the kind of flexibility we have because we actually build it and we're right here in Texas and we're right here in the USA. And so many of our components, even our electronics boards, our display boards, our motor control boards, our motors, they're all US made. They don't come from China. This is done because in, by dealing with US companies, they're all military spec boards, just like the button. They really can last in any kind of setting and in any kind of environment. But this is how we know we can offer you the longer warranties and say we, with confidence, because we've been in business so long, that yeah, 10 years from now, these things are still running. And these things are still going and you're still happy with them and you'll love the way they feel. So anyway, that's how we just started the company and it's what we're trying to show you and give you a chance to give us a chance to get in there to see it. Thanks.